So I guess I found some type of motivation, some type of oomph in my system to make videos today on YouTube. Uh, the last couple of days, maybe I just get bored doing YouTube. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe since in the last couple of days, I found motivation to do other things outside of YouTube. I think my interest in trying to do YouTube videos has gone down. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's the NBA season. I feel like it's where the players have been dragging along. I don't know what it is. But uh, I've been wanting to make this video. And I said, nah, I ain't going to make this video. I ain't going to do it. Uh, but shout out to Two Raw for making this video yesterday. I think Dreamers Pro came out this video today, which kind of gave me motivation because his thumbnail called what George Carl had to say about LeBron a little bit too disrespectful. I don't think it is. I think it's right on the money of what he said. So if you haven't, uh, uh, I can't say figure it out. If you haven't heard what George Carl said about the Lakers right now, uh, I'm about to say it right quick. Uh, George Carl has never, I have never liked George Carl. Let's just get that out there. I don't like that he broke up that Bucks team uh, of the early 2000s, sending Ray Allen to the Supersonics, sending Glenn Robinson, I think it was Atlanta at the time, just basically just dismantling that team. I know the players like Glenn, uh, Glenn Robinson, uh, Ray Allen, maybe a couple few others, Sam Cassell, I'm trying to think. Didn't, what, they weren't really big fans of George Carl. And George Carl has that knack of players not being, uh, players not liking him. I think Carmelo and Andy can attest to that. I think DeMarcus Cousins can attest to that as well. But um, what he said in the last few days, I don't have a problem with that at all. It's true. Um, he said he can't believe that any human being on this earth still thinks LeBron is a superstar. I think LeBron's superstardom has, as far as being on the court, has diminished a lot. I don't think he should be considered a superstar. But, you know, the Lestanza out there, they swear. Uh, he said AD is not a superstar, and it never was one. And he said the Lakers had to uh, really think this process through when it comes to looking for a new coach. So they're going to avoid firing one in two seasons, last in two seasons. I think he said this all on Twitter as well. Let me get exactly what he said. Let's read his words. And I think he said this on Twitter. Yeah, it's via Twitter, Coach Carl 22. Uh, I give the Lakers coaching search committee free advice today. LeBron isn't a superstar anymore. 80 will never be one. Not, uh, now, be sure to use those truths when evaluating candidates, and you might select someone you keep longer for two seasons. So basically, that's a punch in the face of the Lakers organization because they got rid of Frank Vogel after a couple of seasons, Luke Walton, and now Darvin Ham, just like that. And also, he said uh, about LeBron being the superstar, he said there are less, yeah, actually, I take that back. He said this about five hours ago on Twitter. And this is what he had to say. There are less than 10 superstars in the league. There are the Joker, Luka, SGA, Giannis, Tatum, Joel B, and maybe, and just maybe Steph. That's it. No KD, no LeBron, no AD, no Kawhi, no James Harden, no Dame Lillard, nobody else. He might be right on that as well. And I'm sure those fan bases will be uh, reeking somewhere, angry somewhere, but he ain't lying about that. Uh, I always thought it was probably less than 10 superstars in the league, too. Everybody can't be a superstar. But going back to the Lakers, uh, yeah, they probably had to really take their time to search for a good coach. But then again, when you got... Uh, um, the emperor on your team it's hard to do that at this point so the lakers are pretty much up a creek without a paddle they should have kept darvin ham um they should have even kept frank vogel at this point it's just genie bus needs to stop listening to the balden james every all his moves thinking about what he wants um i'm not even a laker fan but knowing the lakers history 
because outside of the books, I guess, I guess I've been following the Lakers because I got family members who are Laker fans. So I'm always hearing about the Lakers. I never will stop hearing about the Lakers. Half my family is from California. So I know all about the Lakers history and what they're going right now, going through right now. It's terrible to see this organization go through this because a certain balding idiot from Akron has basically diminished his teams um, on what they can do. You got someone who doesn't want to take over just thinks he knows more than a coach. So it's going to be hard to find a good coach that can uh, lead the Lakers out of this. It won't change until LeBald and James is gone. Sad to say, Laker fans. Um, but I'm glad George Carl called out the Lakers organization, even called out the mainstream media for this because they the ones who probably still think that LeBron James is a superstar, top five in the league, which he is not. He's not even top ten. So, and I also think, before I log off on here, I also think that Darvin, not Darvin, George Carr is taking up for Darvin Ham as well. Darvin Ham used to be a player that George Carr used to coach when he was coaching back in Milwaukee. Before Darvin Ham, I think, took off to, went to, uh, went to go play for Detroit and won that ring with them. So I think a little bit of this is taking up for Darvin Ham as well. So anyways, uh, that's all I had to say about the issue. Um, it's ridiculous how the Lakers organization has been railroaded by this idiot. And uh, it doesn't look like it's going any anytime soon until he retires. Whenever he retires, who knows when he retires. This fool is like, like I always keep saying, this fool is like the house guest that you invite to stay over for a week until he gets on his feet. And then and the next thing you know, it's two years later, this guy's still at your house for some real reason. That's LeBron James, not just to the Lakers organizations, but to the uh, NBA. It's a stain on the NBA. And yes, he helped ruin the NBA along with Adam Silver lips over there. But anyways, 